Now, if you, like me, are sick and tired of hitting your wedges long and left, just like that one I've just hit, then you must tune into this episode of Testing the Tips. Today's video comes from the specialist, Mr. Short Game himself, and he's gonna make sure I stop wasting shots and hitting long left when I've got a wedge in hand. So welcome back to another episode of Testing the Tips, where I, as an average golfer like you, try out some of the very best tips out there from leading YouTubers. And like I said, this one comes from Mr. Short Game. What's been good about this series for me on a personal level is I'm really paying some attention to the areas that I am struggling with. And I've been getting the ball in good positions off the tee, and I've been wasting shots by hitting wedges that miss the green from just a hundred odd yards out. And that's an absolute killer and putting bogeys on my card that I don't need, much like you, no doubt. So what is the problem? Well, the problem is understanding what happens when my face of the club meets the ball and what's happening through that impact position and what's causing me to go left long left and a little bit lower ball flight as well because they're all the things that are causing me the problem now mr short game will no doubt explain this one better in a lot more detail than i'm going to because i'm going to skip quite a bit of the explanation that he goes through and get down to the meat of this one because for me it's really simple what is going on understanding his explanation and understanding what is going on with that club. Now, essentially what I would do in terms of the address position, my wedges, ball is pretty much center of stance. I stand very close to the ball and my hands are generally leading quite forward really off of my left thigh. The idea I've always understood with that is that's a pretty much normal situation, but what is happening? Why is it so negative in terms of the impact on my results? Well, first of all, Mr. Short Game explains, I wish I know his proper name, by the way. He explains that the difference between your iron setup and your wedge setup is first of all what we spoke about. I'm a lot closer to the ball. What that means is my swing plane is a lot steeper. The angle of attack is a lot steeper. And that has an impact again on how we impact the ball and where our club face is located through that impact. And what it effectively causes us to do is shut that club face down and get it pointing over to the left hand side. What you'll notice with wedge is if I just turn the face just by a degree or two, then there's a severe change in direction in terms of pointing left. It's literally just, you try it, get your wedge at address, just twist it just a slight bit, and all of a sudden you'll notice the direction is quite severely offline. And that's one of the major problems with that wedge in hand, just a little bit of uh, being offline, that impact position, through that impact, uh, and when you're meeting the ball, it's going to cause you significant problems. We want to change that. So how does he change it? Well, first of all, we're going to change the position of the hands. Keep the ball central of the stance, but instead of having our hands forward, we're going to bring them into a more neutral position. So effectively, in line with the ball, maybe in my case, the way I'm looking down on the ball right now, is my knuckles are just slightly to the left half of the centre of the golf ball. So that's something that I would never do. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open the club face up at that address position. Now that's also a major change for me because what we're saying is when we hit the ball, a slight adjustment to the left with a closed face means we're going long left. So my automatic assumption is if I open that club face, well, surely I'm going to go out to the right with that same degree of miss. Well, no, that's where the claim is that doesn't happen. And that's because of what actually happens through the swing itself and the delivery and what changes through that swing plane. And it's very similar to what we've seen in previous videos that I've done and that understanding of closing the club face down through our natural swing path is going from an open position at address, but hopefully, if this goes according to plan, what Mr. Short Game is suggesting is we will start to naturally close that club face down. Our hands will also naturally come through the ball at uh, forward of the ball. So even though we've addressed it here, once we start to come through impact and release the club itself, then our hands become in the position that we think they should be in. And also we go from an open to a straight or a neutral face to path. That all sounds fantastic but surely it cannot work. I'm gonna change round, we're gonna aim at that flag, and we'll see if one simple change, or two, hand position 
and that club face position at address, can they make that much of a difference to the ball flight of my wedges? So we've cut through the waffle. I mean, I really feel like we've just got to the point on this one. You can, there'll be a link down below in the description to Mr. Short Game's original video. And like I said, he goes into a little bit more detail as to why this is a thing that might potentially work, right? Anyway, all I'm interested in is getting to the uh, crux of this and seeing if it works. I'm in that neutral position. Hopefully you can see that I'm just aiming directly at target right now. And I have got my uh, butt of my club since, uh, at my um, belt buckle, center of my sternum. Hands are in that position. I'm gonna open the club face up slightly. Right, I can do with a practice swing really. Trust me, this is the first time we've tried this. Right, let's see then. So I'm gonna swing normal. Well, Han, you're not facing the right way, but you'll be as surprised as I am. That has gone straight. It was a little weak. It was a little tentative in its effort. If anything, I just let it out a little bit to the right-hand side. Do you know what baffles me about this whole testing the tip series? If I watch most of these things, this video included, and I was ultra skeptical. Even walking to this position, I was saying to Hannah that I'm not really sure if this is just a simple quick fix that leads to kind of other problems and maybe it does i don't know but we've just significantly changed the ball fright from going long left to straight at the flag i'm going to give that another go today's video is brought to you in partnership with hot golf the online golf mega store bringing you the hottest deals in golf and of course the clubs featured in today's video find the link to the hot golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers now, I've just said to Hannah, again, off camera, is I'm not sure whether you should open the club face up and then take the grip or grip normal and then open the club face. So again, go and clarify that. My thing is not to be perfect here. This is my interpretation of a video, much like you would watch a video, take it to the golf course and try it out for yourself. That's exactly what I'm doing. But I'm trying to relay stuff that I find really has worked or has not worked. And like I said, sift through a lot of the stuff that's out there that you might be wasting your time on. Right now, one shot in, I am hugely impressed with that. Slightly wider stance than I would normally adopt with wedge as well, which is a bit weird because I'm not doing that on purpose. It's just, I don't know, it just happened. Now what I'm gonna try and do is hit a bit of a fuller swing and see if we can get, right, so center of um, sternum, nothing like where I would be. Now I'm gonna open that club face up just a tad. Now for me, as you can see with that one, I'm just leaking a little bit out to the right. And what I can feel straight away from it is that my hands aren't covering the shot. So I'm just gonna make, make one more shot and I'm gonna make a little bit more effort to get through that ball, maybe turn my chest to face the target a little bit because that's one thing I'm noticing. And I think with all these tips, it's important that you ain't gonna just go out. The first shot was really good and shot me a bit. The second one wasn't so good. What I realize, and I hope you do too, there's no magic fixes in this game. So while these things can help, they certainly need grooving into your swing and letting you understand it. But it's also important that you notice or try and notice what happened when it doesn't go right and if you can rectify it. I think I can rectify that. Okay, let's try one more time. See if I can get, because I do feel my aim is a little down that side on that one as well. So I'm center of center of my stance club face just a little bit open but i want to try and turn through that ball just a little bit more maybe i'm being a little bit tentative with the camera on right that seems okay come on and let's see if we can get through this one. Oh my word that's it ball flight's changed as well this is right on it that's a much better result. And again, you know, I can't obviously see myself back right now. I will watch back later, but I already felt that there was a much better turn uh, through the ball, through impact. Look, I would gladly tell you if these uh, tips are a load of absolute garbage, I've got no problem in doing that whatsoever. That's worth a try. There is no doubt about it. In fact, everything I'm trying right now has been so, so good. Um, but if you think about it, there's a lot of similarities between a lot of the tips and it's really understanding the relationship between that club head, the sort of the path of your club and that face. 
to path relationship and I think if you can sort of understand that and start to recognize those things when things go wrong as well as right then you can start to sort of self-correct and get a better understanding of your swing right like I said I broke down and moved a lot of the stuff out there of Mr Short Game's explanation to get to the point on that one so hopefully you've understood it if you've not like I said link down below go and watch Mr Short Game's explanation but certainly worth a try and hopefully that's going to help me shave a few shots off my future rounds right as ever thanks for watching I don't know what channel you've watched this on because we've got a mix up going on right now there's every chance you're either on the average golf or our original channel or you could be watching this on testing the tips either way I'd appreciate your support on both and it's important if you just want to watch tip videos testing the tips is where it's all going to shift to so make sure you are are, uh, supporting that in terms of subscribing and hit that notification bell for every time we release one of these videos because I genuinely feel we can help you become a better golfer and I'm hoping I can become one along the way with you right thanks for watching I'll see you all soon